Thanks for joining me for today's practice. Today's sequence is just a lovely little practice that you can do when you wake up in the morning that'll just get your energy moving and I love this sequence so hopefully you enjoy it too. If you have got a block please have a block handy or just a cushion something you can sit up on. Okay so let's make a start coming over your knees and let's start in our child's pose coming towards the back of the mat big toes together knees just wide enough for the torso and extend those arms forward letting the arms be quite relaxed to begin with forehead resting down onto the mat still allowing your hips to be heavy starting to take a few deeper fuller breaths try to take the breath into the sides of the body and into the lower back having a sense of the breath just starting to fill the whole body waking it up and then let's start to extend those arms forward so the forearms lift off the mat taking a big inhale and lengthen out through both sides of the waist and then as you exhale allow the hips to be heavy and then let's walk the hands over to the right hand side maybe the right hand comes uh, the hands come off the mat left hand can stack on top of the right letting that left sitting bone be heavy and then walking the hands across to the other side so the left stacking the right hand on top allowing the right sitting bone to be heavy and then bringing the hands back to center reaching them forward one last time inhaling staying for the exhale and then inhale coming up into your tabletop position you're setting up the wrists underneath the shoulders knees underneath the hips crown the head reaching forward just releasing the belly down lift the eyes take an inhale and then exhale to press the mat away draw the belly button in tuck the chin in and then going the other way again open through the shoulders release the belly down inhale exhale pressing down through the shin bones lifting that belly button in tucking the chin in and then one more time inhaling and then exhaling tailbone tucks under chin tucks in and once again release the belly down lift the eyes inhale this time let's tuck the toes under press back into your down facing dog opening up the backs of the legs and then coming back down into your tabletop position release the belly down inhaling lift the eyes exhale back into your down facing dog trying to straighten those arms very lightly come back down into your tabletop we'll do that one more time tap the knees down belly down lift the eyes inhale exhale down facing dog and then taking a bit of a pedal out through the feet just opening up the soles of the feet and then releasing those heels back down taking one more full breath and then coming down onto the knees grabbing your block so this is where we're going to sit in our block or our cushion so if you can lengthways with the block placing it underneath your sitting bones having the feet pointing backward knees pointing forward it's taking a little moment just let the shoulders settle down over the hips and we're just going to start by taking our fingers and taking some little taps around the entire face so we're really just trying to stimulate the skin around the face so over the forehead, really little taps, just starts to bring uh, blood back into the surface of the skin. And then paying a little bit of particular attention to your sinuses. So just underneath those eyes, those bony bits, above the eyebrows. And it's releasing the arms down and then starting to take some shoulder rolls. nice big rolls taking the breath into the upper body and then reversing so going back and forward and then releasing that down take the fingertips to the shoulders and elbows together and circling the elbows back elbows together and circling it back inhale as you go forward exhale as you go back inhale forward exhale back and then let's reverse we'll go back and forward back and forward
and then let's release that down. Take the hands forward, hook the thumbs and then reach those arms up alongside the head, palms, the hands facing forward to lengthen up through both sides of the waist. Taking an inhale, lengthen up and then as you exhale, releasing those arms down, take the arms forward in front of the shoulders and then right arm underneath, left arm on top. So we're coming into our eagle arms. Lift those elbows up, take an inhale and then exhale, elbows dropping in towards the belly and then inhale, reach the elbows up and then exhale, dropping them in. And again, inhale, reach up and then exhaling, dropping them in. And let's just stay upright for a few breaths, trying to spread through the palms of the hands. Lifting the elbows up as you drop the shoulders down. Imagine you're trying to pull the forearms apart. Take one more inhale and then exhale, releasing those arms down. Just give the shoulders a little bit of a wriggle out. And then let's hook the thumbs the other way, reach the arms up, inhaling to lengthen up. Exhale, let those sitting bones ground down. Steady gaze with the eyes. Taking one more inhale, lengthen up, and then exhale to release those arms down. Take the arms up to shoulder height, take the left arm underneath, right arm on top, wrapping the arms around. So coming into your eagle arms, spreading into the palms of hands. Take an inhale, lift the elbows up, and then as you exhale, dropping the elbows in, and then inhaling, reach the elbows up, exhale. Allowing the spine to curve as you drop the elbows in, and then inhaling, reach the elbows up, and then exhaling, elbows dropping in, and then this time let's just come upright and we'll just hold it here. Steady gaze with the eyes. Trying to lift the elbows up as you drop the shoulders down. Just taking one more full breath. And then releasing those arms, interlacing the fingers behind the back, reach the hands down. Lift up through the sternum, lift the eyes. And if it's comfortable, you could just let your head drop all the way back. Breathing into the front of the neck, taking one more full breath. And then bringing the head back up to center, releasing those arms. Come off your block, just popping the block out of the way and extending the legs out long in front of you. Just coming right up onto the sitting bones and then just starting by just rubbing the outsides of the legs. So again, just similar to when we were doing the face, we're just like trying to stimulate uh, circulation into outer parts of the, the skin. And then we're gonna like, cup our hands into a tiny little fist, very gentle, and just tap the outsides of the legs all the way up, right up into the lower back. So you're just stimulating the kidneys back there, back to the outsides of the legs, all the way down and then back all the way up into the lower back. And we'll just do that one more time. Outsides of the legs, all the way back up and into the lower back. And then just giving them another few rubs up and down. And all the way to the feet, all the way to the toes. So just up and forward, up and forward, up and forward. And then we're gonna just come forward and hold it there. So you can have the feet flex if you wanna just have them relax and feel free. Letting the belly relax down towards the legs, relax the shoulders. A few deep breaths. And then coming back up to seated. Just coming to a cross-legged position. You could sit on your block here if you'd like to. So we're just going to finish off just with uh, in our seat, just following the breathing just for, just for a little bit, not too long. So resting the hands down onto the legs. So allowing the shoulders to be relaxed. Just feeling the spine long. Noticing any sensations in the body. Just turning your attention to sound. 
and listening for sounds the, that are furthest away from you. And then starting to come in a little bit closer, listening for sounds that are just outside your room, the house, the apartment that you're in. And then shifting the focus to sounds that are in the room. And then bringing the attention even closer to the sounds of your own body, your own breath. And having that sense of coming home to yourself. Holding yourself with kindness and respect. And allowing that to guide you throughout your day. Just following the breathing for the last few moments. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thanks so much for joining me for today's practice. I'll see you next time. Namaste.